what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Lou back in again with my team video. Today's my team video is on the limited, uh, like, I guess, like, head start. So you guys can build your lineup for tomorrow. I don't even know if I said that right. So literally you can build your lineup for tomorrow. Like, you can see the, like, the requirements and stuff like that. 2K drops a challenge every Thursday, like a day before the limited weekend. To like give you like a head start basically. I know I said that three different times, but if you guys are brand new to the channel or subscribe to the channel, we're on the road 250 subscribers by the end of December, and we only got like two days. And I don't think we're gonna hit it, but if we do hit it, cool. If we don't, cool. You guys have been crushing it lately. I uh, see if we can keep it up. Like the video, it's free. It helps the algorithm and all that stuff. And let's get right into it. So basically, literally, um, what the heck is it called? The whole well, actually, I'll just show you the game. I'll show you the last quarter and stuff like that, and then I'll show you my team on why I'm using them. So basically, you can use four amethyst, one pink diamond, and then the rest have to be rubies. And everybody on your team has to have an 85 or higher driving done. So that's the minimum requirements. And I'm going to show you why I picked my team and why I literally picked them at the positions and all that stuff like that. Basically, like showing you like what type of lineup you can run tomorrow. And I usually do this every single week. So subscribe to the channel if you like these videos like this. And you want to see more of them, to be honest with you guys. And we are currently literally just abusing this uh, lineup, which is a, it is a computer. At the end of the day, it is a computer. But damn, Blake's free throw got way slower this year. Um, but yeah, we're running Blake at the four just because I like using Blake. I'm not gonna lie, it's all personal preference. At the end of the day, it's like, if you like using a certain card, then just use it. Um, pick the pink diamond that you know you can abuse a little bit. I pick Blake just because I know that a lot of people aren't gonna have like good centers or power forwards. And Blake is literally going to out-snag everybody most likely tomorrow. Unless they pick like a crazy pink diamond or something like that. We're running Josh Smith at the 5. The only reason we're running Josh Smith at the 5 is because he can spread the floor a little bit better. And he gets the best block in the animation. He reminds me of like a uh, last year's Dino. That's what he reminds me of, to be honest with you guys. Like he gets like crazy animations. Uh, at the 3, we're running Eddie Jones because he has a uh, Hall of Fame interceptor. And he can cookie everything and all that stuff like that. And he has, like, crazy defensive stats. I believe he comes in clamps. He can still shoot the three. He has the 85 minimum requirement for driving dunk. So we're running him at the three. Um, at the two, we're running Rex Chapman just because he's a beast at, like, defense. And he has, like, crazy dunking stats. And his shot is actually clean. We're using him like, just uh, as a straight-up shooter, to be honest with you guys. That's how we're going to use him because his defense is good. But if they, like, post you up in the paint, you're going to get bodied every single time because he is on, uh, undersized for the two guard. Here's Chapman. It's literally, we should have an easy bucket either way. Look, look, look at this. This is why I have Blake. He just bullies everybody out of his way. It doesn't matter who it is. But, yeah, and off my bench, I can't really remember who I have. But at point guard, I have Alex Caruso because he's a beast at defense. And he can dunk and uh, basically do everything. All, he's all around point guard. And he literally can guard the one through five. Basically. Then uh, I wouldn't even say the one through five. That's a little bit exaggerated. Maybe like the one through... Three or luckily like a four that's six eight or something like that. Anybody under six eight he can guard basically. It's literally we're literally locking him up. And I do remember somebody from our bench. We have D Rose off our bench. We got Russell Westbrook off our bench because we couldn't find any rubies that had like the eighty five uh plus. What the heck is it called? Uh, requirement and stuff like that. Like the minimum. We couldn't find anything, and I forgot who else we had. Like, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Actually, uh, let's actually check out the team. Uh, we'll just check it out at the end. We'll just check it out at the end. Probably show you a couple more plays, and then I'll just skip it through. I'm done with, uh, like, actually the game and stuff like that. Just because, literally, it's literally, just, this is all I'm doing the whole game. Running pick and rolls, they help out. Corner, three. If not, easy lob. We're like trying to complete challenges at the same way. Uh, at the same time, I don't know why either because we did reach our our goal of Galaxy Opal Allen Iverson yesterday, and we still got like two weeks left in the season. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I gotta do with the no money spent. We're probably gonna pick up Rudy Gay and stuff like that, but that's not the point of this video. You guys came here to see if the card is worth it and like the challenge that got leaked and stuff like that. Well. The, I think the uh, Glenn Robinson is gonna be good. Like it's good. the card that you get for this is Gl Glenn Robinson the third, as you've seen in the thumbnail already. Because I most likely put him in the thumbnail. Uh, thumbnail. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out like what teams. This might not be my actual final team, but this is like basically gonna be like most likely gonna be my team. Yeah, you guys. Maybe I'll switch a couple people, but not not a lot of people are gonna get switched. To be honest, you guys. Maybe like a different point guard or something like that. 
But I usually don't get to use my bench either way just because we literally just blow people out and literally make them quit in like 30 seconds. Like, that's Eddie Jones right there. And he comes with a sharpshooting badge. He can shoot from half court if he really wanted to. Somebody in his face, and it doesn't even matter. Like, you guys see. Like, Eddie Jones is definitely one of those guys you should guys you guys should have him all just because he can literally guard the one through three, man. And he got crazy uh, steal tendencies and stuff like that. But yeah, that's basically what uh, we're going with right now. I'm just going to skip it until the end of the game. Alright, so we made it to the final two seconds of the game. Let's just pull up. Why not? Eh, we missed it. We missed it. But we did get the challenge. So we did get Glad Robinson the third. Uh, if you guys do want to see a gameplay of him, like, I'm going to probably do, like, a test of his animations and freestyle. Triple their online. And all that stuff like that. Be sure to check out the video after this one. Because this one's going to get uploaded before the, the actual gameplay comes out for him. I'll test out, like, a couple of jump shots and stuff in this video. But a more in-depth video on the card uh, is literally after this video. Well, the video after this one. What the heck is it called? So now I'm going to show you the requirements and, like, why I'm running my lineup. Which I basically told you my starting five. I'll just show you my bench and stuff like that. We couldn't run, like, the usual lineup we usually run is we get Glenn Robinson the third right there. We're going to probably put him in our lineup, to be honest with you guys. Uh, let's unlock him real quick. Hopefully it doesn't make me flip all. Like, the, the actually flip animation would suck, to be honest with you guys. And it is going to make me do it just because I just think that they, we shouldn't have the animation for Amethyst anymore, to be honest. We already came out with Opals. Like, nobody wants Pink Diamonds anymore. People just want straight Opals. Which I don't blame them, because that's what I want, too. But, literally, Gary Robinson III can play shooting guard and small forward. Which is kind of big, to be honest, guys. It's like a screenshot for Twitter right there. Um, and for the thumbnail. Uh, but, literally, let's check out his stats. I actually want to check out his stats before we do anything. We might trade Rex Chapman for him, to be honest, you guys. Because I didn't know he could play the two guard. Um, he is right here. All right, so he's 6'6", 222 pounds from Michigan. Comes at an 89 offense and an 89 defense, um, which I don't even know how the average is to a 90. But he comes with an 85 three-point shot and a 95 driving dunk. That's kind of insane, to be honest, guys. And an 86 ball handle. This card check is pretty damn good. And he can guard the 1 through 4 because he got that 80 interior and an 84 perimeter defense, which is kind of insane. And an 80 block. This overall card is a defensive monster. I'm going to be honest. He is on the, low, uh, on the slower end because he does have an 85 speed boot ball, so you guys aren't going to be able to like just blow past everybody. But that 98 vert is literally just going to get the best blocking animations in the game. Be honest. It's, it's like, um, what's his name? What the heck is his name, man? I'm trying to find the tendencies. Um, Josh Smith. Josh Smith has like the craziest block tendencies, man. Literally has a 90 pass interception tendency. 90 on ball steal, which isn't the craziest. 80 shot contest. Uh, 75 block shot tendency. That's pretty damn high for a block, to be honest with you guys. He comes with Hall of Fame limits takeoff, which is kind of expected. Uh, does he come with clamps? That's the big thing. Hopefully he comes with clamps. If he doesn't come with clamps, that's a uh, that's an L. I wish he, he came with clamps, but he does come with a, a few badges. Let's test out his jump shot real quick. And right before we do that, I'm going to show you the, uh, the full lineup. And I do want to show you with actual, like, um, what the heck is it called? With actual contracts on, so it doesn't look so bad. Just because I hate looking at a lineup without contracts. But, literally, we got Derrick Rose off the bench because he's a, uh, literally a speed demon. Um, and we needed a point guard. We couldn't find anybody else, to be honest with you guys, besides Russell Westbrook, which is easy. He's at the end of the lineup because we're not putting him because he's Russell Brick, uh, Westbrick, and he's literally just going to get turnovers the whole game. I don't even want to talk about the Lakers just because that is ridiculous. Uh, Gerald Green, you guys should know, he's a 2K monster. Every year they make him OD like, good, no matter if he has a Ruby Amit or anything. He's a beast. He comes at a 90-something dunking. A 95 driving duck with an 86 three-pointer with an 86 ball handle. He can do anything and everything but play defense. That's a, that's one of the things. Like, his defensive stats, I believe, are really bad. Uh, there, it's an 82 overall, not crazy. RJ Bayer's just there to be there, to be honest with you guys, because I didn't have a, a, another small forward that can play that position. Uh, James Wiseman can spread the floor. He can dribble. Uh, he's the only center that's 7 foot tall. He can actually have handles and stuff like that. So we did add him just in case we want to, like, uh, spread the floor. Mo Bamba is coming off the bench. I was testing him out, and I didn't like him coming, uh, like coming out, uh, starting the, uh, the center position. And we put him at the 11th spot just because I think I like Norris and Wall better, just because he's a better rim protector and stuff like that. Uh, and Frank Wagner, Wagner, he he literally he's six nine. He's a beast. They go guard the one through four. To be honest, you guys, not even guard the one through four. Basically, he could be annoying. He could be a little pest, and he, he has a good jump shot and stuff like that. 
But yeah, this is probably the lineup we're going to be running with tomorrow. And overall, it's a solid lineup. But uh, let's uh, test out his jump shot real quick. And that's going to do it for this video. And the next video is going to be a more in-depth video on Glenn Robinson III. So be sure to check that out after you watch this video. And yeah. Let's test out his jump shot. Hopefully, it's like an actual decent jump shot. I don't want to like go through every single animation because we are going to more in depth uh, video about it. But I just want to test out the jump shot for the video real quick. He does have hot tones everywhere except the left uh, corner and the top right wing. Jump shot, easy to time, easy to time. I can tell already. It's like literally Rex Chapman's. Rex Chapman's is extremely easy to time. It's extremely quick, but it's easy to time. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video. And if you guys do like content like this, we upload basically every single day. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And it's been your boy Lou, and we're out to stand. Peace.